Hi and uh, welcome to the tutorial on data patterns. I am Samir Pokarna, an architect with the BMC Truesight IT data analytics team and in this tutorial I will be covering the basics of data patterns and how it can be used. I will also demonstrate how to create a variation of an existing data pattern using the clone functionality. At the end of the tutorial you will know when to create a data pattern and one of the ways to create a data pattern. So what is a data pattern? A data pattern defines the way in which you can derive structure from semi-structured data which can then be indexed and made available for search and analysis. Data patterns enable you to perform advanced search and analysis for troubleshooting or monitoring your application by specifying fields. Fields are name value pairs that represent a grouping by which your data can be categorized. A data pattern can be very simple where you can use it for extracting the timestamp only. It can also get complicated when you specify multiple fields, sometimes tens of them, in some cases. The BMC TrueSight IT Data Analytics or the IT Data Analytics product contains a large inventory of out-of-the-box or default data pattern that you can directly use while creating a data collector. If you do not find an existing data pattern that matches the data you want to index, then you can create a new data pattern or clone a closely matching data pattern that is available by default. To demonstrate this feature, I am going to start with a workflow with uh, trying to create a new uh, data collector. To do that, I first go to the administration data collectors tab here. I am going to try and add a new data collector here. There are various types of data collectors available, but I am going to use the upload file option available in this particular list. I have a variation of the MySQL error log file and I am going to use that for the tutorial. Then I'm going to try and filter the, the data patterns to try and find the matching data pattern. On doing that, I see one match here, which is the MySQL error pattern. And then when I do the preview, it shows me the records from that particular file. But if you notice closely here, there is a debug level, which is part of the message. But ideally, I would like to extract this as a separate field because I want to use that for my search and analysis. To do that, I'm going to try and create a clone of the existing data pattern that we just saw, which was the uh, MySQL uh, error uh, data pattern. I go to the data patterns list. Let me search for the pattern that we, uh, we had just seen. And I'm going to try and clone this particular data pattern. So first of all, I'm going to copy the sample text from the log file that I have here. And I'm going to just copy it to the clipboard. And then I'm going to paste it uh, here. Now I have the sample entries and then I'm going to copy the timestamp and paste it in this particular box here. You should avoid using the auto detect option during clone functionality because it will override the primary pattern that's there in this box. What I'm going to do first is I first try the preview option with the primary pattern that was existing earlier from the previous data pattern. On doing that, what you can see here is the debug level that I want to extract is available as part of the message. So next, what I'm going to do is try and modify the primary pattern to add the debug level field in there. If you notice here, the field uh, for, for debug level appears after the timestamp. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to add the debug level field after the timestamp field here. To do that, I'm going to paste uh, an existing field. Then I'm going to modify the field here and call it debug level. So what I've done here is added a debug level field after the, the timestamp field. Now if I do a preview again, what you see here is that the debug level info does get extracted as a separate field. And this is what uh, is, is expected and I'm going to go and add the data pattern name. So I'm just going to give it a name here, MySQL error clone. And I'm going to go and save the data pattern here. And now I am going to go and create the data collector using the same uh, steps that I had followed earlier. So I go to add a new data collector and I choose the upload file option here. I'm going to give this a name, MySQL error log. I'm going to give it a server name here. 
and then select the same file that we were uh, using earlier and then I reuse the filter option here so when I choose the filter option uh, what I see here is there are two data patterns one is the original MySQL error pattern and the other one is the, the cloned uh, data pattern so if I do a preview option for the clone pattern here then what you see here is that the debug level has got extracted as a separate field and the message now no longer contains the, uh, the debug level there so I'm going to go ahead and save this particular data collector so that the data in the SQL sample log file will get indexed. So now that the data collector is created, I'm going to go and search for that particular data. So now I'm going to search for one of the strings in that particular file here. So when I search for data, what I see that there is some data that is coming from the collector that I just created. And if you look at the detailed view here, what you see is that the debug level now does appear as a as a separate field that I can do my search and analysis on. So that is the end of the tutorial. For more information about data patterns, uh, you can see the product documentation that is available on uh, docs.bmc.com. Thanks for watching.